Greetings, Saber Rights, Anonymous here. Ryan joining me. Uh, we want to talk a little bit about something that uh, comes up a lot. Um, and it's, it's, it's in a lot of our forms, so it's a particular move. Um, and we call it various things in TPLA when we're dealing with a lightsaber, but in Chinese, we call it cloud sword. And this is basically these movements where you see, uh, see us at various degrees kind of leaning back like this and affecting a parry like that. It's in Chicho, when I go here like this, there. Um, again, like I said, different degrees. You can do it here, right, and just do it really light, um, depending on what your mobility is like. Um, but they're essentially the same thing. And essentially what they are is a kind of parry that, that comes very, very close to you. Um, it's not going to hit a lot of time at range, but when you get, start getting in closer, and especially in the, the one-handed duels and, and that kind of thing, you will get times when you'll see a thrust coming in and you can just lean back and, and do one of these. So they're actually very useful. Now the basic mechanics of it, um, when I do it, is I'll just show the mechanics first without the without uh, interaction and then we'll go into the interaction is I'll be here and I go like this now the word cloud or yun in Chinese uh, when it's paired in this way means anything that kind of goes in front of the face okay so cloud hands which is a popular Tai Chi move hands go in front of the face um, cloud sword, cloud staff, all of these things, it just means things are kind of going past the face. Obscuring view um, and that kind of thing. Now the other thing about it too is when I'm looking up like that, it is a dodge. So as it comes in, I'm kind of going like that. So what I do in, in uh, most of them is you just lean back onto your back leg like this, look up, and come here. Now, it's not very long, right? So you get kind of used to doing that. In the Shicho, when you first start doing it, as you come around like this, there. So what I'm doing is I'm going around here, when I get to here, that becomes then the strike. Okay? It's the same, the same idea, is something has come into you, you have to dodge it, but also use your sword to parry and gain maybe a little bit of control. So, how it looks kind of just in pieces is let's say he goes in for a thrust here and I'm coming here. Now, what I, I wouldn't do it necessarily with this too much. Now, we'll do, we'll do some of these at this distance so you can see it um, in, in a minute, but um, generally speaking, I wouldn't have to do it at this range because I'm all I have to do is kind of shift back okay so really what it is is I'll be something like here so if he thrusts from here from there I lean back to get myself out of the way and then I bring this up to start the pair now what I'm going to do is spin it around as quick as I can to try to get it to that open area right if I come up like this then it's going to go over there if I come up like this it's going to go over there. Okay, it's a pretty simple, uh, simple thing to think about. Um, same with two-handed, two-handed anything. If I'm going to do the the shisho version here, he's going to strike towards my head, and I'm up like that. Now again, it would be something like in here where I'm, I've missed, and then he's coming in here like this, and I go back like that. Right now with this one, I can come up onto the top or push it over and then come in for the strike there. Okay. Either one of those works. Um, <clears throat> in Makashi, it's a lot of places. Okay. Um, you can do it walking, which is how it's done here in Makashi. I'm here like this. Now here's where the cloud is going to come in on this side. As this foot goes around, I come in like that. 
All of this, the lean back, looking up, taking your eyes off the target, all of that is to help you work on number one, dodging, and number two, when you dodge or when you get to the point where you've had to obscure your view, either by looking away or doing a parry right in front, you are now being trained to refocus your gaze, right? So as I come in here, he comes in like this, I have to go here like this and then refocus my gaze on him or on the target or whatever it is I'm, that I'm going to do next, right? And um, that's kind of difficult, um, especially in the whole rigmarole of free play. Right? Things happen very, very fast, and you don't seem like you have enough time to get there. As I'm moving around like this, there, all of that kind of helps me follow my sword throughout, throughout the movement, which is going to help me kind of track moving targets and keep my equilibrium in check. Okay, so we will flash over to some usage um, so you can see what we're talking about, both kind of separated out and in free play. So uh, check that out. Again, uh, thank you, Ryan, for helping me out. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great day. Happy sabering.